Hi kindergarten kiddos, it's Miss Rayborn here. This week, before we get started, you have some things to gather. You need your sketchbook like you normally would have. You could have a pencil and you'll definitely want some crayons or markers. Mine are all here close to me, but I've got my marker box. I'll need some scissors and some glue here in a little bit. And you also need one big piece of paper from your art kit that you picked up your art supplies at school. If you don't have a big piece of paper like that, it's okay. You could do this in your sketchbook. You could do it on just plain old blank copy paper if you have any at your house that you can um, get close to. All of those things will work. And if you don't have either one, you could always just do it in your sketchbook, kind of like we did last week. So I know that some of us are at school, some of us are at home, some of us have more supplies, like you might even have colored paper at your house. If you have colored paper, you're welcome to use colored paper. I just know that not all of us do, okay? So I'm gonna start by making a plan for myself. I'm gonna open up, here's what I did last week with my snippet shapes, and I'm gonna go to a new piece of paper. And I'm gonna make a plan for myself of what do I want to make inspired by our snippets book. So in the book, they made a lot of houses, didn't they? They would put together their square and their um, triangle top. If I could find one, you guys. Oh my gosh, I went to the wrong place. And they made a lot of houses. Now towards the end, they realized that they could work together and they made a whole community of houses. They made a rocket ship. They made some sailboats and things like that. But I'm gonna be inspired and make something new um, from my own imagination. And I've been kind of thinking about a castle um, that a princess could live in. I don't know why I've been thinking about that, but I have. So I'm gonna kind of make a plan for myself in my sketchbook. Now a castle would need sort of a big rectangle for the big part of the, of the castle. And then I want it to have big, tall sides that would be kind of like two rectangles. And I'm trying to make them about the same size. This is about the same size as this one. I'm just drawing it out on my paper. Now they're not touching each other because I'm not making a drawing of my castle right now. I'm making the shapes I need for my castle. So this is the main part of the building. Then these are gonna go on the side. I know I'm gonna need a door for my castle, so I'm gonna make kind of a semi-circle or semi-oval. Once that gets colored and cut out, it'll go down here. Um, I know that my castle is gonna need some windows. I'm gonna make maybe four of them. Maybe even, I think it might need like a fancy window up above its door up here. So I might make a pretty uh, circular kind of a window too. So this is probably a good place for me to start. I have the main part of my castle. I have the two parts that are gonna go on the side, the tall towers. Then I have a door, which is gonna go here. I have a fancy window, and then I have some other windows to work with. Now, because I don't have colored paper, I need to think about adding some color to these, right? So I think my castle is gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be a gray castle. So I'm gonna color in my shapes, and I'm not working too hard to make sure that I'm staying inside the lines because I'm getting ready to cut out. The only thing that's really tricky is I do have to still be able to see where to cut. Ooh, I always do that. I press too hard, but that's okay because now I just have two. So I might outline my square again just to make sure that I get the whole thing done. So I'm just filling in the color all around and I'm gonna finish coloring in all of my shapes on my paper before I go on to the next step, which I'll tell you about here in just a minute. So go ahead and work on that. And when you're ready, go to the next video.